What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking in. Thanks for stopping by the channel. We appreciate everybody's support. Today, we're going to finally get to putting the ceramic coating on the C8 here on the Z06. I have the Adams graphene coating. Uh, I'll go over that and then just kind of steps, but it had a full wash already, uh, already had a treatment uh, prior to the PPF being placed, and that's kind of why I waited to do the uh, ceramic coating because I knew that it was going to get the full clean. Uh, that saved me some work uh, on doing that, but uh, I'll go over the steps involved. It's not really that hard. The biggest thing is prep. You got to wash it. You got to get it cleaned. If you haven't done anything on it, you got a clay bar. If you need paint correction, paint corrected, uh, and then you can look into doing the graph, gra or the graphene or the ceramic coating. Uh, if you're not doing PPF, but you can also um, ceramic coat your PPF. There's never a problem with that. Uh, I'm using the Adams Graphene today. Uh, Adams products are the official products of the National Corvette Museum. I figure if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Uh, I did a lot of different research, and I know that their graphene is PPF safe. Um, there's some stuff that uh, the Expel people use, but it's, it's really difficult to get if you're not a professional detailer. It's very hard to get, you know, kind of private world, but. Um, I'll go over the steps, we'll get into it, and I uh, hope you enjoy the content today. All right, first step, once we got it clean, got everything uh, clay barred, everything ready to go, uh, use a surface prep, a good uh, uh, IPA or isopropyl alcohol based um, solution to kind of get the last, if you had any residual oils or any residual treatment out left before. I'm using Adam's surface prep today. I'm not sponsored, like I said, I just figure if it's good enough for the National Profit Museum, it's good enough for me. Um, this is actually a 30% uh, IPA, uh, isopropyl alcohol solution. Uh, from what I understand, Xpel, you can even use up to a 99% isopropyl alcohol solution, but uh, the IPA gets the rest of the residual off, and it's really just, you know, getting it ready, um, just misting it on, and really just gently, lightly wiping it off. And actually, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by the smell of it here. She has a nice smell. So, and then you'll just get the rest of the car and just make sure we get all the residuals left. Wow, that looks good. I can't wait to get the ceramic coat on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't want you guys to have to watch me do the entire car, okay? But uh, I will uh, cut the video too when we get to the point where we're putting on the uh, ceramic coating. So here we've uh, finished up with the <clears throat> Adams uh, surface prep. Man, this car looks good. I cannot wait to get it ceramic coated. Uh, so I did the whole car. Uh, just on a side note, man, these guys that do PPF on these cars with all these angles and pieces. And I mean, I was even looking up here a little bit more closely when <laughs> that's a lot of work. No wonder it costs what it costs. All right, so I mean, just a second, I'll get everything set up and we'll start this ceramic coating. All right, so the, the graphene comes in a little bottle like this. The kit comes with two micro suede applicators. Obviously we have a new um, lint-free towel we're gonna use. And the important thing here is just to kind of drizzle it on. You don't want to get too much. And then you're gonna start to small sections and make sure you cover the entire section. Now, overlap, make sure you get it covered. Again, small sections, back and forth. And then they say you'll watch it and it will quote unquote flash where it'll start to kind of change a color. And then that's when you start to wipe it off. All right, they say the cure time is a couple of minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on your car. They say it's easier to see the flash on darker cars where it almost makes a rainbow. So I figured just handle at a time, should be more than enough, couple minutes. Make sure you get the whole thing. I know probably off camera or you're getting my butt. All right, I'm starting to see a little bit of the 
the flash here. So the idea then is just to wipe it off gently. It takes almost no effort to get this off. Looks good, I like it. And you don't wanna do bigger sections. You don't wanna do the, the whole hood, do it in sections just so that way you don't have high spots that you've missed. Now the graphene, which I did not choose to purchase option wise, the graphene coating uh, has um, the UV uh, ability where you can put a UV light on it. And once you have the UV light on it, it'll show any high spots that you have. So that way you can eliminate those. All right, good. And I honestly, the surface prep smelled good. It actually had a, a relatively pleasant smell to it. I'm gonna be honest with you, this does not. This definitely smells for chemical smell. But again, going in small areas, I always overlap panels just like when I'm washing and waxing, just to make sure I have full coverage. And hopefully no high spots. I mean, with the lighting in here, my garage, that I have these super bright, almost operating room bright LEDs. Um, I can tell you already <laughs> where this ceramic coating's on, on already. Man, it is starting to pop. It is starting to look good. Now Adams makes glass, glass treatments, things like that. Um, per Adams, you can actually put the graphene onto the glass. Uh, I'm gonna skip that step today because I'm going to get the protection film placed on the windshield. So there's actually a physical barrier as well. And then I'll probably ceramic coat that film. All right. So I decided not to bore you to death to show you the rest of the uh, ceramic coating process. I'm gonna get finished on the car, but just looking at the hood already, I can't wait to see the way the way the water beads off of this. They say to let it cure several days before you get it out into the weather. But, I mean, the reflection already is taking this PPF to a whole nother level. I'm going to do the wind or the uh, headlights. I'm going to do, like I said, the film on the windshield, do the windshield. But I'm going to do the tires next time because I'll have to take them off. You have to take them off, actually, to get the barrel. Everybody recommends getting the barrel. So um, I'll get take them off, clean them off the car. I'll have black lug nuts to go back on. And then uh, I'll ceramic coat the wheels as well. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you to death with going the rest of the car. Like I said, <clears throat> that's kind of a short video today to show you how uh, to go about the process of getting your car ceramic coating. It's very easy to do. Most of these apply the same way. <clears throat> um, but don't be scared. Don't be scared to do it. I mean, it's easy. Anybody can do it. If you can wash and wax your car, you can ceramic coat your car, okay? So just looking at things from a... People get scared to do ceramic coating. I was kind of a little bit worried about it at first, but the more research I did, I was like, man, I can do this. So don't be afraid. Uh, I'm gonna hurry up. I'm gonna let you guys go for today. Thanks, this is gonna be a short one. I didn't wanna bore you. I just wanted to show you the process of ceramic coating. Uh, tonight, we have a sh nighttime, a dusk photo shoot, video shoot. We're gonna get some 4K rolling footage, some drone footage. Man, we're gonna be putting out some good stuff. So high quality stuff, trying to elevate the channel here. You guys can have some great experiences with us. 
Thank you for hanging with us. Thank you for checking this video out. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Tell your friends, help us out. Uh, we got lots more coming. You guys are going to love the video and the footage that we're doing tonight. So hang with us. Thanks for your support. We appreciate you all. Tonight will be Horsepower Obsessed live stream, 730. Check it out. It's always good Corvette content if you're a Corvette person. And we will see you there. Morning after ceramic coating. Just catching the morning sun. Just wanted to kind of give you guys the look of everything show you how it came out we did our photo shoot last night it came out amazing be looking for that we'll get that up later this week thanks a lot guys